can smirk all you want to, but it's the truth. And if you don't put it on your test that he discovered America, you get what? An F. Incomplete. Right? Now that's a lie. That's a lie. So we're here to break forth the truth according to the word of the Most High, according to our story and some of his story. You hear what I'm saying? Look at these words, man. They put it in your face. His story. So we're going to bring our story. And our story goes from the beginning. Go Genesis 1 and 1. This is where our story starts. You can't go no further than this. Tell me where you can go before this. Let's find out. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Give me Colossians 317 first. Well, hold that. Because we got we to bring forth the spirit of how we rolling. And we roll like this all the time. Read this. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all. Give it thanks to Yahweh. Bahashem Hamashek Yahweh. All right, so all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior. We give thanks to the Most High, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is the forefather of these 12 tribes of Israel. That's when you read the Bible, it's talking about. And no one else. Primary, he said, you only know these 12 tribes of Israel. So if you're on this side, I'm talking about the indigenous ones, because we've been kind of scattered among all nations as the 12 tribes of Israel. So all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior. We give thanks to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for everything. Yeah. Now let's go back to where we begin. Genesis 1 and 1. Can't go no further than this. Jim, where you go before this? Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning. <laughs> when? In the beginning. That's what we go back to. So we're going to start right there. Where? In the beginning. The most high created heaven and the earth. Right. In the beginning. The most side through a Mashiach, I was get Ephesians 3 and 9. See, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. The most side created the heavens and earth. How'd he do it? It's a mystery. Huh? Where's the date in the beginning of what? When? Of the world. Before, before we see the earth. He said, in the beginning, the most side created the heavens and the earth. How'd he do it? Read. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Mystery is something that's not known to the world. People don't know this. The mystery. Read. Which from the beginning. From when? The beginning. Where do we start from? The beginning. We started from the beginning. Read. Of the world. Of the world. Read. Have been hid in the most high. Been hid in our heavenly father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. Who created all things by Hamashiach Yahushai. Yes. Created everything by our power, Hamashiach Yahushai. That's what the most high, the superpower of the world of all entities. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob created all things by Hamashiach Yahushai. That's a mystery. Because people always say, God, but who are you talking about? Who are you really talking about? People read the Bible, they put God there with his dog spelled backwards. Now, you asked a question about division, right? Or well, the most high separated, you know, separated everyone and all that, right? Look at uh, Deuteronomy 32. I'm going to get right to the point. Because the most high chose the people. Get Deuteronomy 76 first. Because in Deuteronomy 1 and 1, it says, These be the words that Moses spake to all Israel on this side of Jordan. So we come from Israel by way of Africa and all other parts of the world that we were scattered in. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is what the Most High said to the Israelites of Negro, primarily indigenous, Negro, Indian, and Latino descent. This is what he said. What did he say? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High thy power. And the Most High thou, thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people. Hear that? The Most High said we are chosen people unto the Most High. He said, we are special people unto the Heavenly Father. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. Read. Above all that are all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that? Did you hear what he said? Read it again. You gotta listen now. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High thy power. And the Most High thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he chose us to be a special people above all nations.
nations on the earth. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. This is what it's saying. This is what he told us. When we came out of Egyptian captivity, dark people gone into captivity under another dark race, the Africans. We're not African. We're from Shem. They're from Ham. This is what he told us as he gave us the laws. If that was the case, then where's the Jewish people that can come forth and show me the 12 tribes of Israel that this Bible's talking about? Because our forefather Jacob gave us prophecy of what would be happening to us in the last days of Genesis 49 chapter. Now come forth and prove it. We can. Because we know that this is our heritage right here. This is what he said, Deuteronomy 14, 2. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High thy power. And the Most High hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people. We are peculiar. Look, look down there. Okay, go find somebody that can do the things that we're doing like they're doing down there. That ain't copied off us. You hear the music? You go down there and find any other nation that can do it. If they ain't copied off us, they're just doing it naturally on their own. But they ain't seen us do what we do. We're peculiar people. Read. Unto himself, to the most high, read, above all nations that are upon the earth. That's what it says. Now you ask about this division, right? Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. Let's see if the most high integrated everybody together. When he gave all the nations their land. Because you look at the back of Bibles, you'll see children of Israel, all the tribes have their different land. In Canaan, which is Israel. And then you see on the outskirts, you see these other nations. But if you don't know who these nations are, What's your biblical nation? What's your name? What's your biblical na nation in the Bible? What's your biblical na nation in the Bible? Who are you in the Bible? You see what I'm saying? When I ask who is, who are, what's your name as a nation, ain't most I ain't creating no new people. So everybody got a, a name. They got an identity in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So. Wait a minute. Let me deal with one, one thing at a time. That's what you were doing last time. You was going from one to the other. Just hold on. Now, Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. It's very important that you understand the truth. We're going to do one thing. You're talking about division, right? Because right now, America's all integrated with everybody. Like you see, everybody going around integrated. And we just became integrated not too long ago. It wasn't integrated when I was, I was, I was coming up, not where I come from. We integrated when we went to that school, they ain't want us there. We had a fight. We had racial wars. So in my lifetime, now you're talking about no slavery any time of that, we're talking about in my lifetime, you see? So you can't tell me about integration. When we were segregated, that's the worst thing happened to us was integrated because we had our own. We had our own. We were taking care of ourselves and doing the things that we're supposed to do for ourselves, for each other. Now we're depending on the white man, not where we at. Look where we at now. Running around with Santa Claus uniforms on, with damn dunce hat on. Dunce hat on. That's all Santa Claus hat is, a dunce hat, a wizard hat. That's all it is. These are the things that we're doing. We're able to, we're able to go and sit on the, on the, on this, in, this, in the bathroom with a, in this toilet. You, got, you know, had colored and white. I mean, it's just real. This is what happened. I'm not lying, you know? This is what happened. You know, when I was growing up, you couldn't be at a certain neighborhood, get caught in a certain neighborhood at night. We couldn't. No, I, you're not running nothing. You just listen. You just listen. Because I'm dealing with, he asked a question, I'm dealing with that. Don't get upset because I'm, 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 I'm bringing forth the truth, you see? How you going to tell me what to do? I ain't telling you. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. You ain't telling me what you're telling me. <laughs> Didn't you ask a question? Didn't you ask a question? All right, he asked a question. You ain't asked nothing. Just listen. So now, you asked about division. That's why I got to bring it out because we're talking about integration, right? Right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. You listen up this, white boy. Listen. When the Most High divided to the nation. What did he do? Divided to the nation. Did he integrate everybody? Divided to the nation. He divided the nations. He divided the nation. Who did it? The Most, the Most High. High. Divided to the nation. Their inheritance. Yeah, you divided all the nations, their inheritance, their lands, what they're going to be, where they're going to live at. Read. When he separated. No, he integrated. He separated. No. Most, most high would not separate all the nations. Since America say a great one, great melting pot, everybody could be together. What the most high do? When he separated the sons of Adam. He separated the sons of Adam. Read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Yeah, he set the bounds of all these other nations. Their lands, he gave them their lands as he gave us, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, our land. You can look in the back of the Bibles, you'll see. 
Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Ruin, Nathali, Asher, and Issachar. You'll see all the different lands that the Most High gave to the 12 tribes of Israel. Then he gave the other nations your lands. But see, you don't know who you are biblically. You got to know the names of these other nations biblically to understand who it's talking about when it's talking about these nations that's living right now. Read. For the most high's portion is his people. His is a personal possessive pronoun showing ownership. His people. Who's his people? Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. You see? Jacob is the lot of the Most High's inheritance. So he separated all the nations. So now, we in a time now, everybody talking about the end is coming, right? The end is coming. He said the end is coming. So that's what he did in the beginning. Now, here we are, all everybody's together, right? Let's see what he's gonna do when he sent a Mashiach outside back, Matthew 25, 31. Because that's when he gave all the nations their lands was he gave us our land. Now, when the Mashiach Yahushai come back, this is going to happen in our time. Read. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him. Yeah, he's coming in his glory, man. And all the holy angels with How many angels he coming with? Revelation 9, 16. He's coming in his glory with all the holy angels with him. Revelation 9 and 16. So he's coming, man. They know something's coming. Hey, everybody knows something's coming. Straight up. You got to feel it, man. It's just a matter of how the Most High going to allow them to do what they're doing to bring forth his prophecies that's in his Bible. Let's read. Revelation chapter 9, verse 16. Yeah, 9 and 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. He's coming in with his holy angels, 200 million angels. Go back to Matthew 25, 31. Listen. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him. 200 million angels he's coming back with. Read. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He's going to sit upon the throne of his glory. Read. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Hear that, brother? Before Hamashiach, Yavashiach is going to be gathered all nations. Read. And he shall separate them. Oh, he going to do what? Separate, separate them. them. What he going to do? Separate, separate them. them. One from another. Hear that? He ain't about integration. He ain't about everybody being together. That's why he gave all of us our woman. All the men of these other nations, your woman. Like he gave us our women. See what I'm saying? That's how we did it. He's not with, he's not with this integration stuff. He ain't with interracial marriages and all that. He against that. Huh? Because they're wicked. So they have the children. Huh? Oh, we can do with that. Go with that point, okay? Remember that, all right? Remember that. Read. So we're going to separate all the nations one from another. Read. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. As a shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. So now, look at Matthew 15, 24. Because he's going to separate all the nations like a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So who are the sheep from the goats? So who are the sheep? Let's read it. Say Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, So Mashiach, I was the world called Jesus Christ. What did he say? I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We the house of Israel. Who live in a house family? We the family of Israel. Okay? So he said he's going to set the sheep. He's going to put the sheep on his right hand. Let's continue back to Matthew 25, 31. Say Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. Separate them one from another, how? As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Read. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand. We already said that he came for the 
the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what he said of his own mouth, right? And that's us, the children of Israel. You see? So he will set the sheep on the right hand, which is the children of Israel, read, but the goats on the left. The goats on the left. Who the goats? Look down on the ground. See it on the ground right there? That's a goat head. Right here. Right there. That's a goat head. Those stars, them goat heads. Daniel's 8.21. That's a goat head. Two horns, the floppy ears, and the goatee. That's their symbol. It's been their symbol. Who's the goats? Because he'll put the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. Who the goats? Me? Daniel chapter 7. Tell I get Daniel chapter 8, verse 21. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia. Who the king of Grecia is talking about? Who's the first king of the Greeks? Who's the, who's the first emperor? The first king? Alexander the Greek? Right? No, this is in the Bible. First Maccabees 1 and 1. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 1. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shedem, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and me. You know why you think about history? History? Well, the Greeks took down the Persian and me empire to come into power. The first superpower of the Caucasian race. It was the Greeks. They took down the Persian and Mede Empire to come into power. Read. It's in the Bible. That he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. The first over Greece. So that's what say he gonna put the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. So all those that are brain polluted, not brainwashed, but your mind's been polluted, if not come forth, let me see what you know. Because we all been lied to. The Bible is talking to us, the children of Israel. It's our book. It's our story. But we don't know that because we've been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because we've been told that we don't have to follow the Most High. Anytime you say, tell someone you ain't got to follow the laws of the Most High, but you got to follow the law of the land, you got to do what the white man say, but you ain't got to follow the laws of the Most High, that's destroyed, man. That's straight destroyed. And you got the young boys running around here with their pants off their butt. Doing the things that's contrary to the law of the Most High. And thinking it's okay. That's destroyed, man. Unheard of. But it is heard of because you know it's true. Most High looking for men that's going to stand up and be a man and go against this evil that's in this world. And the wickedness that's in this world. So we're going to put the ghosts on the left, man. But that's a mindset, too. Get a uh, first, first Ezra 8 and 69. And you hear me saying our minds have been brain polluted, been polluted with the knowledge, with some understanding of this world, how they have us so that we follow their mindset. So it's a mindset besides just being them. You see what I'm saying? Our people, we think like who? What a curriculum? That, whose curriculum did we learn? That's why he couldn't handle it. When I said first thing I came out was what? You asked about separation, integration, right? He couldn't handle it because they want us to be down with them, but they ain't down with us. But they want us to be down with them. Let me ask you, let me deal with this first. Read First Ezra chapter eight verse sixty nine. The nations of Israel, the princes, the priests, and Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. No sign window integration. Say, we didn't put away these strange people of the land. That's not on this sign, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Really? Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. That pollutions of the Gentiles. Therefore, your mind is polluted. It ain't, you ain't brainwashed. Stop saying that. Your brain is polluted. The what of the Gentiles? No, the pollution of the Gentiles. Yeah. Because they got you walking around here not knowing what you should know. Straight up. Because what curriculum did you learn? Where'd you get it? What books you read? 
What'd you learn from in the school? What curriculum did you learn in the school? We learned their curriculum. They, we learned what they told us we have to learn. Everybody. They have you going to college, you go to university to be what? A good servant. You go work for somebody. Don't you try to work, make your, have your own corporation? How to, how, to, how to do the things that they're doing. Look, look, at, look at all this right here in Hollywood. Come on, you think, you think they got all this here? How they get all this here? Free labor. Free slave labor. Point blank. Oh, yeah, free slave. What do you mean free slave? What, we, you got pay, we got paid for slavery? Are you serious? Come on, we tell you ain't know it was free. So I say, the pollution of the Gentiles. Because our mind's been destroyed. Read. To rid of the Canaanites, his name and nation. Who are these people? It's in there, the Canaanites. Hittites, Hittites, Pharisite, Pharisite, Jebusite, Jebusite, and the Moabites, the Moabites, Egyptian, Egyptian, and Edomite, and Edomites. Who are them nations? Come on, you should better run them off the top of your head because you're supposed to know this. You said, but we don't know because we've been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They made sure they beat it out. They didn't let us to read in slavery. They allow us to read. We just learned how to read 100 years ago of that. You know that's true. And really, still to this day, I mean, I'm, I'm just dealing with a, a nonprofit. They have 3,000 that they can, the people that, where I'm at in the top, they can come and learn. 1,500 thought about it. 1,500, no. Don't want to learn. Free. Offer them laptops, iPads, all of that. No. Why? Because you got to come and learn. You got to come and read. You got to come and be somebody. That's our future, man. For our children. That on this sign. And the parents don't care. The parents don't care. That's why I say our mind's been polluted. Brain polluted. We'd rather go down there and look at that, them dance down there. I like to think outside the box for me personally. Yeah, but I'm... But I was trying to tell you, but I, but I'm, see, I've always been a thinker, and I love it. But but you got to think right. You got to think what's right. No, but I, you can think like me if you hear what this Bible is saying and go by what it says. Yeah. I'm saying I've always been a person. I'm working my own company. I question everything. I've okay. always been like that. All right, that's okay. But you, you this is your second time being here, so you you know, you know you done heard the truth. That's why you're here now again. And you got questions and I'm asking them to the best of my ability, right? Now, now we, right now, we're dealing with that integration marriage. You said, no, you asked the question. We, I'm, let me deal with that. Don't jump to something else. We ain't doing that today. We're doing one thing at a time. We're going to get there. Right now, we got to do one thing at a time. We're dealing with that separation. That's what you said first, right? So now, go to, because uh, these are nations, man. The Moabites, they, they.